Hi guys, we are going to discuss about page replacement algorithms. What is page replacement algorithm? Page replacement algorithms are used in operating systems to manage the limited amount of physical memory available in a computer system efficiently. So, what is a physical memory? Basically, physical memory means RAM and hard disk. RAM is a primary memory and hard disk is a secondary memory we are having a two different types of hard disk which is hdd and ssd next when a page fault occurs when a process needs a page that is not currently in the memory for example a process is requesting a particular page so whether that particular page is available in the ram or not if it is not available in the main memory what the operating system role is the operating system must decide which page to evict from the memory to make room for the new page. It has to create a space so that it can able to allocate a new page. A page fault occurs when a page is referenced by the CPU is not found in the main memory. It means it has to get the page from the hard disk and it has to allocate in the RAM. This particular technique is most efficiently used in cache memory the required page has to be brought from the secondary memory secondary memory means hard disk into the main memory a page has to be replaced if all the frames of main memory are already occupied for example there are three pages three pages are occupied so then you need to replace a page because there is no space page replacement is a process of swapping out an existing page from the frame of main memory and replacing it with the required page. Page replacement algorithms helps to decide which page must be swapped out from the main memory to create a room for the incoming page. For example, if you are going to consider this particular diagram, so here a particular page is requested by the processor and it is going to check the RAM. For example, say D is a particular page which is going to be requested by the processor. So, it is going to check whether the D is available in the RAM. So, if it is not available in the RAM, so then it has to send a request to the hard disk. So, the D is required. So, then the hard disk is going to grant that particular page and it creates RAM creates a room so that it is going to occupy the space so which is available in the hard disk too, and it is going to fetch from the RAM. So being a particular page address in the RAM means it is going to be faster process. So for that purpose we are going to use this particular page replacement algorithm. Types of page replacement algorithms. What are the different types of page replacement algorithms are there? First one is before page replacement algorithm. So here we are having a first in first out page replacement algorithm. The second one is last in first out page replacement algorithm. Third one is least recently used page replacement algorithm. Fourth one is optimal page replacement algorithm. And fifth one is random page replacement algorithm. So these are the five different types of page replacement algorithms we are using in our operating system. The first one is FIFO page replacement algorithm. As the name suggests, this algorithm works on the principle of first in first out. It replaces the oldest page that has been present in the main memory for the longest time. It means, so which is uh, going to be longest time? So, most there are two types of uh, things. So, you need to remember most frequently used, least frequently used. So, so which is staying longest time. So, we need to replace that particular page. It is implemented by keeping track of all the pages in a queue. So, here this is the problem which is uh, asked most uh, frequently in Git by changing the values. The problem is a system uses three page frames for storing process page in main memory it uses first in first out page replacement policy assume that all the pages frames are initially empty so page frames are initially empty 
what is the total number of page faults that will occur while crossing the page reference string given below so here the given uh, the string is 4561761272 here if you are going to notice there are some particular numbers which are repeatedly occur so 6 is repeatedly occur and 7 is repeatedly occur and similarly 1 is repeatedly occur and 2 is also repeatedly occur so how we are going to perform the page replacement algorithm so now the given size of the particular frame is 3 page frames so 3 page frames are given for storing the process in the main memory so now we need to count the number of total strings and draw the 10 columns and 3 row table so here it uses the particular 3 page frames so here given is the size is 3 page frames so now here, here how many numbers are given so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so because of that reason we are going to count the total number of strings and draw 10 number of columns and 3 number of rows as the page frames so which is given so now row represents the pages which are given are 3 so now we have drawn a particular chart so that 3 particular rows and 10 number of columns because here the given string contains 10 number of elements so now all the pages are empty so earlier all pages are empty so that we can able to continue and place the first particular string element into the frame 1 so now all pages are empty so now we have placed a 4 in the frame 1 so next particular frame so 7 is there 7 will be placed on the frame 2 so there is no request for frame 1 so we continue 4 for one more cycle so now mark so as m so it means so it is going to be considered as miss so for example if it is found the element is found or not so element is found in the frame or not so the given frame contains the 10 number of columns and 3 number of rows so page hit means the requested page demanded by the cpu is found in the main memory so now we are going to consider the 4 so whether 4 is found earlier no 4 is not found so the page fault will be occurred so because the demanded page is 4 which is not found in the main memory so now we are going to mark as a miss so we are going to mark whether it element is found it is going to be a hit so if not we are going to mark as a miss at the top of the column next so here the next requested frame is 7 whether 7 is found no 7 is not found in the particular main memory so we will continue 4 for one more cycle and place the 7 in the frame 2 so because we are going to place the 7 value in the frame 2 so and again mark as a miss so because 7 is not found in the particular main memory mark as miss so next requested page is 6 so 6 is the next requested page the particular 6 is a page which is also not found so here we have continued 4 for 3 different cycles because so there is no need of page replacement because so the frames are empty because it will be continuing for other cycles so when the particular page replacement is needed so when the particular page replacement is needed so whenever this frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 are full so now 7 is continued for two cycles and 6 is marked as miss because 6 is not found in the main memory so now next element so which is requested is 1 so the next element requested is 1 so whether the one is not found in the main memory or not so now the one is not found in the main memory because of that reason the miss is going to be occurred so now there is a need of page replacement the page should be replaced which is staying longest time so here four has 
longest standing because it has continued for three number of cycles. So now the longest standing page need to be replaced. So four is the longest standing page and now it need to be replaced mark as circle. So replace the four with the new arrived frame. So newly arrived frame is one. So mark replace the four with one and mark as miss because four is not found because of that reason we are going to mark miss has been occurred. So next the next requested page is seven. So after one so seven is the requested page. Check in the frames whether particular seven is found in the main memory or not. Seven is already found in the main memory mark as a hit because the requested page is found in the memory and continue for one more cycle. This particular page will be repeated for one more cycle. So next element which is going to be searched is 6. So whether the 6 is found in the particular element which we have continued for one cycle is 6 is found. So because of that reason we are going to continue for one more cycle and mark as a hit. So because it is found in the main memory the requested page is found in the main memory because of that reason we have marked as hit. Next it is going to request for 1. So whether 1 is found in the particular main memory is yes. 176. Among the 176, 1 is found in the main memory because of reason mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So next, here the next requested page is 2. So whether 2 is found among this, 2 is not found in this particular main memory. So what is the rule? The rule is so replace the page which is longest standing. So 4 is the longest standing frame earlier we have replaced 4. Next longest standing page. So which is 7. So now 7 need to be replaced. So replace 7 with 2. So next we are going to mark as a miss because 2 is a element which is not found in the main memory because of, of that reason we have replaced 7 with Next, the requested page is 7. So, 7 is the requested page. So, what we need to do? So, we need to check in the main memory whether the 7 is already available in the main memory or not. So, 7 is available in the main memory. So, we need to mark as a hit and we need to continue. So, finally, we are going to continue that particular element. So, 1 to 7 and mark as a hit because 2 is a requested page so it has found. So now the cycle has completed with all the elements. So 1 to 7 so 7 is a requested element so we have marked and 2 is also element so which is there so there is no more cycles to continue so we have marked as a hit. So now we need to calculate number of hits and number of misses. So totally 6 misses are found and total 4 hits are available. So now we need to calculate the hit ratio and miss ratio. Hit ratio is defined by number of hits by total number of references. Total number of references means number of given strings. So now hit ratio will be calculated by so total number of references are 4 4 divided by 10 which is 0.4 or 40 percent. So next miss ratio. Miss ratio is 6 number of misses are there. 6 divided by total number of references which is 10 which is equal to 0.6 or 60. So next algorithm is last and first out page replacement algorithm. So here the problem suggests the same. So now what we need to do is we need to create a particular chart so that we are going to fill all the particular elements. So now first element is 4. So 4 is the first element whether the particular element 4 is found in the particular main memory or not. So 4 is not found in the main memory mark as a miss and uh, alert the frame 1. So next what we are going to do we are going to search for the particular frame uh, particular element 7. 7 is also not found in the 
main memory allot the frame to for 7 and continue the frame 1 for another one more cycle until the new particular string arrives. So next particular element which is going to be inserted is 6. So 6 is also not found in the particular main main memory allot the frame 3 and mark as a miss. So now 1 is the requested page. So now last in first first out algorithm by the name suggest whatever the frame which is which is arrived at a last need to be replaced. So now which particular frame we need to replace? We need to replace a particular frame which is 6. 6 is a particular frame which is lastly arrived. So now there is need for replacing 6 with 1. So now we need to replace the 6 with the 1. So mark as a replacement. So mark as round and we are going to replace a 6 with 1. So now the next requested page is 7. So 7 is the next requested page. So now so 7 is the next requested page. 7 is already found in the particular main memory. Mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So now how many elements we have completed? 4, 7, 6, 1, 7. So now the next element requested is 6. So next element requested is 6. So now the elements available in the frame are 4. 7 and 1. So, which is the latest frame which has visited? Latest frame which is visited is 1. So, 1 should be replaced as with 6. So, now what we are doing? 1 should be replaced with the 6. 1 is replaced with the 6. So, now the available elements are 4, 7 and 6. The next requested element is 1. So, now what is the element last recently visited? the last recently visited element is 6. So now what we need to do? We need to replace the element. So we need to replace the element which is 6. 6 should be replaced with 1. So now 4, 7, 1. So now the next elements are 2. So whether 2 is the element which is found in the main memory. So now 2 is not found in the main memory. So what we are doing? We need to replace the particular page which is recently visited. So, 1 is the page which is recently visited. So, now we need to change the 1. Replace the 1 with 2. What is the next two elements? 7 and 2. So, 7 is the element which is found already in the particular main memory and we mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So, because of that reason we are going to continue one more cycle and we have marked as a hit and we have continued for one more cycle. So next, what is the last one which is going to be 2? So 2 need to be checked in the main memory whether it is found or not. So 2 is already found in the main memory. Mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So we are going to continue the 4, 7, 2 elements for one more cycle for marking as a hit. So this is all about last in first out algorithm. So what we need to do? So we need to check the hit ratio and miss ratio. So, in order to check, calculate how many number of hits and how many number of misses are there. Here we have 3 number of misses and here we have 4 number of misses. So, total number of misses are 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. So, and how many number of hits are there? So, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 hits are there. So, now, so here we need to, so 3 hits are there. So, now, 3 hits, uh, 3 hits and 4 misses, we have calculated the hit ratio 3 by 10 which is going to give the 0.3 or 30. So next miss ratio is 7 divided by 10 which is 70%. So let, next we move to the next algorithm, least recently used page replacement algorithm. Le but the name uh, is least re recently used. So what we are doing? So we are going to consider the similar procedure. So, whether the element is found or not. So, 4 is the element which is not found in the main memory. Initially, all the frames are empty. So, now place the 4 and mark as a miss. So, because 4 is not found in the memory. So, next we have marked miss. So, next 7. 7 is the element which is going to check at next. So, now alert the 7 per in place of frame 2. So, now we have placed the 7 in frame 2 and continue the particular frame 1 for one more cycle. So next alert the frame 3 and mark as a miss. So 3 are misses. So here we need to 
continue 4 and 7. So next requested page is 1. So now 1 is the requested frame. So here we have a note. It looks similar to the FIFO. Care should be taken while hit occurs. So when hit occurs, it will be treated as most recently used, least recently used. So which element is a least recently used? So 4 is a least recently used element. So now 4 should be replaced with 1. Next element is 7. So 7 is the next number of element. So what we need to do? So here we need to check the 7. So 7 is already found in the main memory. So 7 is an element which you are looking for. 7 is already found in the memory. So mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. What is the next element it is going to look? So here it is going to check for next element which is 6. So 6 is the element which it is going to check. So 6 is the element which is already found in the memory. We, what we need to do? We need to continue 6 with one more cycle. So 6 will be continued with one more cycle. 176 all the elements in the frames will be continued for one more cycle. The next requested element is 1, 1 to 7 to. So requested element is 1. So 1 is the next requested element. So now which particular page we need to replace. So 1 is found in the main memory. Yes, 1 is found in the main memory. Continue for one more cycle. So next requested frames are 2, 7 and 2. So now, so 2 is found in the memory or not. So now 2 is not found in the memory. So now we need to replace a page which is 7. 7 should be replaced by 2. So why? So we are going to compare 7 and 6. So which is more longest time standing? 7 is the longest time standing because of that reason we are going to use a 7 and replace the 7 with 2. So because of that reason we have marked as miss. So 2 is not found in the memory mark as a miss. We are going to check the element 7. So 7 we are going to is the element we are going to check 7 is the element which is found in the memory or not. 7 is not found in the memory. Recently it is replaced with 6. So among 1, 2 and 6. So which is the longest standing element? So 1 and 6. So compare 1 and 6. 6 is the longest standing element. So now we need to replace the 6. So replace 6 with 7. Next element is 2. So 2 is the element which is already found in the main memory. So 2 is found in the main memory, mark as a hit. So now continue for one more cycle. So we have continued one more cycle. So now how many number of misses and how many number of hits are here? So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 number of misses and 1, 2 and 6 number of misses are there. How many hits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 number of hits are available. So 4 divided by 6 which is 4 divided by 10 which is 40. So next how many number of misses are there? So 6 number of misses are there. So here 0.6 or 60. Next one optimal page replacement algorithm. So here we need to have a note. In this algorithm OS replaces a page that will be not be used for the longest period in future. So which page is not used for longest time in future? So that page will be replaced. So up to 476 no pages are inside the frames so no need to have, uh, have a replacement so we will continue all the frames are empty 4 will be placed in frame 1 next 7 will be placed in frame 2 and uh, 6 will be placed in the frame 3 so we will be continuing the all the pages so now what we are doing so here we are going to consider the next particular pages which need to be replaced. So now we are going to check the right hand side. So which page is not used for longest time. So here if you are going to consider 476 among the 476 7 will be repeated or not check 7 will be repeated S yes, 7 will be repeated. Next check the value of 6. So 6 will be occurred or not. So 6 will be occurred for one time. So now which page is not repeated? 
which particular string is not repeated the not repeated string is 4 so 4 is the string which is not repeated because of that reason we need to replace the 4 4 will be replaced by 1 so 1 is the particular string which we uh, which we need need to be replaced in place of 4 check the next replacement page so every time you need to mark as a miss so up until now so whether page is found in the main memory no page is not found in the main memory mark as a miss the next requested page is 7 so whether 7 is found in the main memory yes 7 is found in the main memory mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle so now we are going to continue for one more cycle so we have marked as a hit and we have continued for one more cycle so now we have completed up to 7 so what are the next requested pages 6 1 2 7 2 the next page is 6 6 is found in the main memory or not yes 6 is found in the main memory it is successfully found so continue mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle so we have marked as a hit and we have continued for one more cycle so next element we need to check is 2 so 2 is an element which we need to check so whether 2 element is found so 2 element is not found in the main memory so now which particular page need to be replaced so here we are having a 1 and 6 so because 7 will be repeated one more time so because of that reason we are going to check the 1 and 6 so here we among the comparison 1 and 6 what we are doing is we are going to check the 6 so 6 is a particular page so which has came longest standing time compared to 1 so 6 is occurring more time compared to 1 so 6 is a page which arrived first compared to 1 so now we need to replace the particular page 6 with the value of 2 so because the element is not found mark it as a miss so next particular page is requested is 7 so 7 is found in the main memory yes 7 is found in the main memory mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle so mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle similarly 2 2 is an element which is found in the main memory so here mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle so this is all, all about optimal page replacement algorithm so we need to calculate the hit ratio and miss ratio so totally how many number of hits and how many number of misses are there so here four number of misses are there here one misses are there so four plus one five here three number of hits are there two number of miss, uh, hits are there so total three plus two five number of misses and five number of hits so now we are calculating the hit ratio 5 divided by total number of references equal to 0 0.5 misses equal to total number of misses by total number of references is 10 0 0.5 so which is 50 both are 50 so next particular algorithm is random page replacement algorithm random page replacement algorithm replaces any page at random this random algorithm may behave like any other algorithm like FIFO, LIFO least recently used or optimal page replacement algorithm so the main important thing is so whenever the miss is going to be occurred so when miss is going to be occurred then only we are going to replace a page randomly so if hit occurs no need to replace the page so we are going to replace a page any any particular page at randomly so whenever miss is going to be occurred so this is the important point you need to note down so now one is the requested page so one is the requested page so here we are not going to check it can able to replace any page so here what we are doing so four is the page which need to be replaced so why four is selected why not seven and six so seven and six also be selected at random so randomly you can able to replace any other page so in the main memory so whenever replacement is needed so next next requested page is one so one is the requested page so we have replaced the page so next seven seven is found in the memory seven is a page which is found in the memory so continue for one more cycle so seven is continue one seven six is continued for one more cycle so next requested page so what is the next requested page so next requested page is six 
6 is found in the mem main memory, yes, 6 is found in the main memory, again mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So, we have continued one more cycle. We are going to continue one more cycle, one, one will be used. So, now 2. So, 2 is an element which we need to be replaced. So, whether is uh, 2 is found in this particular main memory, 2 is not found in the main memory. So, we need to replace a page. So, which place is to be replaced? Any page among 176 any page among 176 you can able to replace at a random manner so two arrives not found so we have selected a six so you can you may select any page so among 176 you can able to replace so six is replaced by two so you may select seven you may select one or six so whenever misses occurred then only you have to select the particular page to be replaced at random any page random means any so next requested page is 1. So 1 is found, uh, found in the main memory, 2 is replaced recently. So next we need to replace a page 7. So 7 is the, so we have completed up to 1. So 4, 7, 6, 1, 7, 6 has completed. So now 2 is a particular page we have completed recently and 7 is a page which is arriving. So now 7 we are going to check, 7 is there or not, 7 is there, so continue for one more cycle, so now mark as a hit, mark as a hit and continue for one more cycle. So next 2 arrives, so 2 is also found in the main memory, so mark as a hit, so totally how many number of hits and how many number of misses are there, so here we are going to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 number of hits and 1 number of uh, miss, so for 5 number of uh, misses are there and uh, four num five number of uh, hits are there so totally the particular uh, hit ratio will be calculated 5 divided by 10 and uh, miss ratio is also 5 5 divided by 10 in this manner you can able to calculate the page replacement algorithms so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching